Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Hope everybody is staying safe out there amid this uh, coronavirus um, crisis. So we have three Y releases last weekend and they are The Hunt, I Still Believe and Bloodshot. Let's see how those movies did at the box office. All right, let's jump right in. Uh, coming in number one is uh, the Disney Pixar's latest animation, Onward. In the second weekend, it dropped off huge, uh, 73%, uh, to pull in about 10.5 million. Domestic gross right now is about 60 million. Overseas, they pulled in an additional 41 million for a worldwide total of 101 million. And of course, you know these figures are influenced by the uh, coronavirus. Uh, right now, we don't know when theaters are getting closed because the CDC recommendation is to avoid crowds. Uh, uh, 10 or larger so uh, it's only a matter of time until theaters are closed so we don't know what the box office will be like for next week uh, so i probably won't be doing a box office report um, for the following weeks yeah that is weeks but we'll see what will happen all right reviews for this movie is um, pretty good at 87 percent on the tomato meter and a minus cinema scores which is pretty good but onward had an opening uh, of about 40 million which is kind of lower than you know like typical pixar disney releases i said in my preview that this is not like a typical Pixar movie where it is targeted toward more toward the the guys, the boys, and you know the fathers, and less so with the female half. So that's why the performance before that we get into you know like st staying in place uh, before the Corona shutdown, uh, it was kind of trending lower as well. But with the possibility of a theater shutting down, um, you know, yeah. Um, it's gonna be a bloodbath out there for theatrical releases. Alright, moving along, number two is I Still Believe. In its theatrical debut, it pulled in 9.5 million. Uh, this is a movie that I think could probably pull in somewhere uh, 3 to 5 and it is tracking on uh, to open somewhere in the 10 to 15 million range I believe. But it opened to 9.5 which is uh, pretty good, higher than my projection of 3 to 5 million. This is a faith based film and I say that you know th if this is a movie that is um, uh, immune to the uh, coronavirus uh, <laughs> crisis then this movie is it because you know like the faithful, the, the target audience probably don't care about coronavirus. and this Despite a 40% on the tomato meter, uh, it performed well. It has an A cinema score though, so the target audience uh, obviously liked it. And this is a movie that's based on um, the life of Christian singer Jeremy Camp. All right, uh, number three is uh, quite the disappointment, and that is the Vin Diesel uh, comic book uh, movie Bloodshot. Uh, it's a poorly reviewed, 32% on the tomato meter. B cinema score though, so that's uh, promising. Uh, except uh, you know, this is a movie that like, could probably open somewhere in the 25 to 30 million range except you know it opened to 9.3 million it even less than I still believe I made that estimate because I er erroneously believe that this is a DC character except that is is a character based on a comic book um, by you know Valent Comics so you know way lower profile than that but you know this is Vin Diesel right except I said that you know Vin Diesel outside of his Fast and Furious franchise and the Riddick franchise right his other movies are you know pretty much uh, you know misses and it uh, looks like Bloodshot is one of those misses. Of course, this movie is also uh, affected by the coronavirus as well. All right, uh, let's move on to number four, uh, the Invisible Man horror movie. It pulled in um, six million uh, in the third weekend. Domestic gross right now is about uh, 64 million and into, uh, overseas it pulled in an additional 58 million for a worldwide total of 122 million. Yeah, the Invisible Man is another horror movie that is on track to do very well at the box office probably grossing somewhere in the 80 to 90 million range when all said and done domestically uh, except now you know with the possibility of the, uh, you know theaters closing you know my fall short of that all right let's move on to number five it is the, the one of the new releases last weekend as well and that is the dark comedy the hunt uh, 54 percent on the tomato meter uh, c plus cinema score i was projecting this movie to open somewhere in the one to three million range because you know i, I thought it might not appeal uh to that wide of an audience except that it's doing okay uh 5.3 million in this opening weekend and um yeah it's the did better all these movies did better than my projection with the exception of bloodshot all right number six is a sonic the hedgehog movie it pulled in about uh, 2.6 million in its fifth weekend domestic gross right now is 145 million overseas it pulled in an additional uh, 161 million uh, for a worldwide total of 306 million and i believe this is the um, sonic the hedgehog is the highest grossing uh, movie that's based on a video game character. 
All right, moving along. Uh, number seven is the way back. Um, you know the Ben Affleck um, drama. Uh, let's see. In the second weekend, it dropped seventy percent to pull in two point four million. Domestic gross is about thirteen point four million, and overseas it pulled in an additional one million for you know worldwide total about fourteen million. All right, number eight is The Call of the Wild, which is uh, based on a Jack London novel starring Harrison Ford. It pulled in 2.2 million in its fourth weekend. Domestic gross is 62 million. Overseas, it pulled in 45 million for a worldwide total of 107 million. Uh, this movie costs 135 million to make, and yeah, it's, uh, it's gonna lose money theatrically. All right, number nine is Emma. Period. Um, this is uh, based on a Jane Austen novel of the same name, right? Except without the period. Uh, in its fourth weekend, pulled in 1.4 million. Uh, let's see, domestic gross so far is about 10 million. <laughs> Overseas, supporting an additional 1.5 million for a worldwide total of 25 million. Um, so yeah, it was doing okay before this again this um, coronavirus uh, crisis. All right, let's close out the top 10 with Bad Boys for Life. We're putting 1.1 million uh, uh, in this ninth weekend. Domestic gross is about 204 million. Uh, overseas, we pulled in an additional 214 million for a worldwide total of 119 million. All right, so that's it for this week's podcast. There won't be any wide releases next weekend because theaters were pulling their 10 polls. So um, yeah, that's it for this week's podcast. Uh, so stay safe, everybody. Until next time, bye-bye.